Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand hierarchy in addressing. So, the concept of IP address and the basic terminology of IP address. So, how the address space of the IP addresses and uh, how those uh, uh, the notations of the IP addresses, different types of notations of IP addresses has already been discussed in our previous video. If you haven't watched that video, please watch that video and come back here because the understanding of those concepts is very much important for you to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be part of entire course or a playlist our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below in this class we'll try to understand about hierarchy in addressing so why <coughs> If you take any addressing mechanism, for example, if you take postal address, the postal address will have an hierarchy. First, they are going to take the door number or the apartment number and after that street, num street name and after that local locality name and after that uh, city, after that uh, district, after that country and after that pin code. So this is the hierarchy in which the postal addresses are considered. If you take telephone number, the telephone number, uh, the entire landline number uh, is divided into three or four pieces it is a country code uh, uh, state code and after that uh, uh, exchange number and after that the num the number for the telephone this is how the addresses are hierarchically divided for the efficient utilization okay this is all this hierarchy the division of the addresses uh, for postal address or for the telephone number it is for the efficient utilization of the numbers in the same way the ip addresses are divided into hierarchy hierarchical division is there in the ip addresses they are divided into two parts so what are those parts so the ip addresses are divided into two parts the most significant bits which are if you consider these as n bits so the entire 32 bits are divided into two the first half the most significant part is prefix and the next uh, significant bit is what we call it as suffix part so what is this prefix part and what is this uh, suffix part so as as the telephone number the the entire telephone number is divided into country code uh, and next is state code exchange code this entire ip address is the prefix part of the ip address defines the network so if you consider the prefix the prefix part will define the network whereas the suffix part defines a node in the network for example so for better understanding we will visualize the things by using this network so this is a simple network assume that this is a uh, this is a simple network uh, inter network so different networks are getting connected by using these routers okay so this is our local network local area network this is our local area network so uh, this complete network this the the uniquely we are going to identify the uniquely this complete this complete network by using this prefix part so this entire network is uh, uniquely identified by this prefix part and each node in this network for example if you take this node this node the identification the definition for that node is provided in the suffix part so the address for this computer is provided in the suffix part and the address for this entire network is provided in the prefix part the prefix part defines this entire network and nodes in the nodes in the network are defined by using so within the ip address within the ip address the suffix part is uh, defines the uh, defines the uh, node in the network the prefix part defines this network for example uh, uh, how can we understand this is for example if you have so let's try to understand so what we will do is we will divide this uh, entire uh, ip address into two parts uh, one is uh, uh, 16 bit and the other one is 16 bit so this this way is what we call it as a fixed length prefix if you consider the fixed length fixed length for the prefix for all the ip addresses possible then how the system is going to what are the disadvantages of that fixed length prefix and uh, how those disadvantages can be overcome that we will try to understand so let's try to understand let's try uh, let's consider
okay uh, okay so now uh, let's consider that the prefix is fixed length prefix is 16 bits and the suffix is also 16 bits if you take any network uh, the entire ip addresses the entire possible 2 power 32 ip addresses are divided in a fixed way where the prefix is having 16 bits and the suffix is having 16 bits uh, for this uh, again this again this 16 bit is again divided into as we have seen that the IP addresses are divided into four eight bit chunks so let's assume that it is uh, 128.6.7.18 so let's take some IP address this part is representing the network and this 7.8 is is representing one of the system in the network for example if you take 128.6 dot uh, 7.19 so which network that does this first 16 bits are representing this is 8 bits this is 8 bits total 16 bits is representing this network the address that the the definition the the identification of this network is done by the prefix part and this remaining part is what we call it as suffix part this suffix part is representing the node in the network 7.18 is this system and 7.19 is this, this system but what is the address of this network the address of this network is 128.6 for example if you consider this network assume that this network address is the prefix part of this network is 128.7 okay this all the nodes in this network will be having the same part the prefix part is going to be the same 128.7 the suffix part is going to decide the node in this network for example if you take 0, .0 okay so this one is this one is the complete ip address which is representing this node in this network in this network called 128 so this you can consider that so 0 0.1 means if you take 0 0.1 it is the 0 0.1 in the network called 128.128.7 so this is how the suffix and fixed length suffix and prefix will work but what are the disadvantages so the disadvantage there are lots of disadvantages with with this kind of fixed length prefix and suffix so what are the disadvantages are for example if you take uh, how many systems are possible with uh, how many how many unique addresses are possible with 16 bits okay so the unique bits it is 65356 uh, I think so 2 power 6 is 65,000 so it may vary so the number may be different but 2 power 16 is assume that this is 65,035 uh, 65,356 unique networks are possible and in each network the number of systems that are possible are again it is 65,356 systems so try to understand this point with 2 power 16 with 2 power 16 how many different numbers unique numbers are possible try to understand this point again slowly how many different systems are possible 65,356 systems are possible which means the prefix part is having the entire 32 bit IP address is divided into two parts 16 and 16 so this 2 power 16 is representing how many networks the prefix part it is representing so this entire world's network should not cross this number 65,356 systems and uh, networks okay and the remaining part the suffix part is 2 power 16 again it is 65,356 nodes in each network this part this number is representing the nodes in each network and this number is representing the number of networks okay now with this kind of division with this kind of division for example if you take a university uh, network uh, or any engineering college network that engineering college network may not have these many number of nodes but once the uh, once for example if you consider uh, the prefix for that assume that this is an engineering college network and the network is provided this number 128.6 
and it should have how many how many systems does it does this network support it is 65356 number of systems but this university may not have 65000 number of systems a engineering college or a university will not have those many number of systems so what happens the remaining ip addresses are of no use try to understand this point though the remaining ip addresses are of no use or for example if you take a big wide area network uh, where uh, reliance has established a wide area network in a big city like hyderabad or mumbai there it is going to provide uh, 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 internet services for all the customers those uh, networks will have more than 65000 systems a reliance may have uh, more than 65000 number of customers in a single city in that case it has to divide it into lots of networks okay so so the the uh, efficient utilization of ip addresses is not possible with fixed length division uh, uh, fixed length hierarchical division of the ip addresses so how to make it efficient so there is a mechanism called class full addressing mechanism and also classless addressing mechanism we will try to understand those concepts in our next video hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching watching.